Hello, this is John Hanserick, Senior Technical Writer for Wallaroo. In this video, we'll be living on the edge, not based on the Aerosmith song because the royalties cost a lot, but based on edge devices. Most of the time, when we are talking about ML systems or ML in production, we are referring to machine learning models running in large data centers. But when we talk about machine learning at the edge, we're talking about situations where data transfer has to be nearly instantaneous. You can't wait for even milliseconds to go from the local environment to the cloud and back, or the data needs to be pre-processed locally before the cloud enters the picture. This is where machine learning at the edge comes into play. Machine learning at the edge is a concept that brings the power of running ML models locally to edge devices. These models can then be invoked by the edge application. This tutorial will demonstrate how you can use Wallaroo in a simulated edge situation. This tutorial and others can be found on the Wallaroo documentation site, docs.wallaroo.ai. A copy of everything used in this tutorial, including sample models and data, can be downloaded from the Wallaroo tutorial GitHub repository at github.com forward slash Wallaroo labs forward slash Wallaroo underscore tutorials. This tutorial assumes that you've installed Wallaroo and have some familiarity with creating workspaces, uploading models, and deploying pipelines. We'll be highlighting those steps in this video, but if you need a refresher course, we recommend the Wallaroo 101 tutorial. This demonstration was made using an open source model using the Aloha CNN LSTM model for classifying domain names as being legitimate or not. Something you could put onto a router and have it check DNS requests and blocking malicious sites. For our example, we've created a virtual machine based on the instructions in our Amazon EC2 tutorial, but you can also use the instructions for our bare metal Linux install. Our sample edge still has 32 cores and plenty of RAM, but as a note, we have instructions on the Walroo documentation site on how to run Walroo on even fewer resources by disabling services. This example focuses on how to specify the resource allotment to pipelines. This is what allows an edge device to run inferences on constrained resources. With that, let's start our simulated edge demonstration. First thing we do is load our libraries, then make a connection to our Walroo instance. Just for convenience, I'm going to use some variables to establish the names of the workspace, pipeline, and model. Edge pipeline example, edge workspace example, and Aloha model. I'm also specifying the model location. This will make it easier to use your preferred models if you want to test this example in your environment. We'll create our workspace, then upload our model. So far, this is fairly typical for a Walroo procedure. Where things get interesting is where we create a deployment configuration using the deployment configure builder object. This allows organizations to have different configurations for how pipelines are deployed. So you can say configurations such as the number of replicas used, the number of CPUs, and the amount of memory. For this configuration, We'll build it with one CPU and constrained to 150 megabytes of RAM. Now when we build our pipeline, add our Aloha model as a step, we have one more part of the process. When we deploy our pipeline, we'll define the deployment config using the deployment configuration we just built. With it deployed, let's do an inference with a single record. Run just fine, and we can see the results. Let's try that again with a similar test, but now with 1,000 records via a deployment URL. The deployment URL lets us submit a inference request over an HTTP link. In this case, it fails. Restraining our pipeline to just 150 megabytes isn't enough to handle that many records. That's easily solved. We can change our deployment configuration to 300 megabytes of RAM. We undeploy, then deploy the pipeline with the updated configuration. If we run our inference request again, now it succeeds with the extra resources we've allocated to it. And as always in these demonstrations, we undeploy the pipeline to return the resources back to the system. We hope this demonstration of using Wallaroo in a resource-constrained, simulated ML Edge environment has been helpful. As mentioned earlier, the tutorial can be found at the Walroo documentation site at docs.walroo.ai. The complete tutorial and the resources used can be found at our GitHub repository at github.com slash Walroo labs slash Walroo underscore tutorials. Thank you for watching and welcome to Walroo.